Welcome back, True Seeker. Thursday, September 28th, 2017. The first quarter of Thursday Night Football has just concluded, and it's on delay because there's lightning near the stadium. And I think we're going to see weather be a big theme this year in light of Super Bowl 52 being in Minnesota. And here's why. Prince died last year. He died on the 112th day of 2016. In the language of Gematria, Super Bowl equals 112. This year, Super Bowl 52 is in Minnesota. In the language of Gematria, Minnesota equals 52. So does prophecy. And Prince told the world, all we can go by is prophecy. But what does that really mean? Well, when you learn about Kabbalah, which also equals 52, prophecy, an important concept. Same with the coding of letters and numbers, what is gematria. Anyhow, Prince, who performed in Super Bowl 41, and who also died on a date with 41 numerology, the word Super Bowl also equals 41. To date, that is the only Super Bowl in history where it rained during the halftime performance. And Prince performed Purple Rain in the rain for the lone rain football performance ever Super Bowl halftime show. This year, the Super Bowl in Minnesota, where Prince is from. Since 1952, and look this up, this is true, since 1952, it has been admitted by world militaries that they can induce flash flooding by putting chemical concoctions in the sky. Look up the Linmouth flash flood of 52, and then how 52 years to the day later, flash flooding in the same region of the UK, where it also happened in 1952. And read about the US and Operation Popeye, like Mr. Spinach, Operation Popeye, All throughout Vietnam, we chemically sprayed the skies to flood them out because they were relying on their feet. They moved in the wet jungle already, turned it into swampy conditions. It's harder to move on your feet in a swamp. You, you got underground tunnels like the Vietnamese did. You flood them out. So anyway, 52 is the number. Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes. Flood equals 52. So does Minnesota. This year, Houston flooded, who hosted the Super Bowl last year. On 5-2, February 5th, Tom Brady became 5-2 and two in Super Bowls. You can also write that date 2-5 with a 25-point comeback over the Falcons, which equals 25. So does the word Pope. Last year, the Pope blessed the Super Bowl. The Pope's birthday was 51 days from Super Bowl 51. Tom Brady, a Jesuit. Arthur Blank, a Jesuit. The Falcons, Jesuit colors. It's all ritual. It's all ritual. And what I'm trying to tell you is we live in a world of rituals run by psychopaths who have technology that they use to mock us all. And while lightning really does happen, I understand I've been to the Midwest, there's a lot of lightning. How often do you remember it uh, causing a delay in a sports game in primetime? You know, it doesn't happen that often. This is a phenomenon that's growing in the NFL if you're paying attention. Primetime games delayed by weather, blackouts. Again, you live in a world where the military can control the weather. You know, creating lightning is not a hard thing to do. It's all chemistry, you know. We live in a world of advanced technology. In 1952, they had this stuff figured out and really way before that. So look at this. I just put out a preview about the significance of 44 in tonight's game. We're going to review that. But I just want you to see this. I went to... When I heard about the delay, I went to the uh, tweet from, you know, the network hosting the game. And just all the time, we talk about this. They document in their tweets. They code in their tweets the numbers that you actually see, things that have to do with the story. So this is about a lightning delay. Look at the gematria of lightning. 143. 143. And we saw 28 in there as well. Packers, 28. They're at home. But look, Lightning, 44, just like Wisconsin, just like Packers. Georgia's also 44. The team from Georgia beat the team from Wisconsin in the NFC Championship by 44 last year. And not to mention before the season began, I said look out for those two teams in the Super Bowl because of 44. 
The date numerology was 44. So tonight, here is the greater relevance of 44 with regards to tonight's game and this lightning delay. Coming into the game, both teams were 93 and 93 and 6 all time. 93 wins apiece, 6 ties. Tonight was going to be the 193rd regular season game, and it is. 193 is the 44th prime number. And just to show you how relevant these numbers are to the military, which has this technology, weather warfare, a real thing admitted to since the 50s and 60s by the UK and US. Look at this. Secretary of Defense equals 193. This is the 44th prime number. 44th prime. The current Secretary of Defense is named Mad Dog, 44. And his real last name is Mattis, 44. And he came in as a 44-year veteran of the Marines. Now, Trump's the 45th president, but he's only the 44th person to be president. Symbolic. There were 44 kings of ancient Israel, all men. Just like the first 44 presidents of the United States. Trump, the 44th person, because Grover Cleveland was number 22 and number 24, which means ever since 25, the count's been off. The 25th president was the 24th person. Rince Priebus, the first person named to the administration, he was 44 years old. Nikki Kelly, another one, she was 44 then. A whole bunch of people with connected to 44 were appointed to Trump's administration. And this is the military number, military 44, just like soldier 44, just like infantry 44, trooper 44, officer 44, and so many more things. But ultimately, it comes back to this one. 44 is the kill number. Kill. Kill. Think about this. Cancer. Cancer. Kill. How about chemo? Going to get this radiation that destroys you even more. Chemo 44. You see how this works? You know what's the real killer? It's time. The word clock 44. And out of the astrological symbols, the fourth is cancer. The fourth is cancer. 444. You know? So we get this lightning strike at the big 44 game. What are the odds? Tweet goes out that it's delayed 143 reshares. Is it really? Looks like a tribute to lightning to me. And understand, this is all a big military show that we live in. You know, the reason we get these football games is to distract us from our reality. The reality for almost all of us is we grow up on a conveyor belt. We're told where to be, what to learn, whose direction to follow from a young age. We get sent off to these public schools. We get our heads filled with all this bullshit. We get our time wasted. We don't get any real knowledge or skills. You know, then you graduate. You got to either go to college and take on all this debt or go get a job and start paying all to Uncle Sam. Guess what? It all funnels up to the banks. We're a nation run by bankers. You know? It's all a big military bank empire we live in with distractions for, for us to not see what we live in. And I mean, look at how much we pay in taxes and fees. All of us who work, remember the people who employ us, the reason they employ us is because they get more out of us than we do. So that means almost all of us, you know, are, we're working for somebody else. We're working for Uncle Sam too. Most of us are tired and frustrated and we just want to chill out and watch the game. But then we get all emotionally invested in the game and we don't realize it's all a big rig show by the numbers. And not only that, but you know, it's a military advertising campaign. You know, they're telling you to join the army. All these advertisements. This gets the mind's eye of the children. Then when they're 16, you got the recruiters in there. telling them to join the military. Become a mercenary of the New World Order. You know, no soldier in the history of this country has ever fought for freedom. Everyone needs to understand that. Every war gets us more enslaved to the debt military tyrants. That's what it's all about. Start thinking. How are these wars getting us free? Who's free here? You know, you're not free in this nation. You're told where to be from a young age. Who to listen to, who to follow. And if you don't, there's consequences from the beginning. End up in juvenile hall. End up in jail. You know? End up in a gutter. Got to follow the orders from a young age. Got to follow the rules. You got to conform. Look at everybody. So scared to speak out about what's so obvious. These rig sports leagues. What's not obvious is weather warfare. But people need to wake up. You know? You're looking at somebody who told the two days. The two days of major flooding for the United States before they happen, and they both hit for Texas and Florida because weather warfare goes on every year by the same code, by the same repetitive numbers, just like these rig sports games. And here I want to give you a good one. 
From the NFC Championship to the Packers-Falcons primetime game this year, it was 239 days later, the 52nd prime. 52nd prime. And look at Atlanta Falcons in Gematria. They might very well go back to the Super Bowl this year. It's possible. They're going to have a good season. We all know that. But don't be surprised if they go back because they have this number connecting to 52, but so do some other teams. You know, I'm not endorsing the Falcons, but I'm saying watch. Understand it's all scripted by the numbers. And the numbers that pertain to the Super Bowl, the winning team's going to have them. They do every year. Every year. You know? Down below, I already did a video on this, but I'll, I want you to go read this reporting, this blog post on the lightning strike at the Dallas Cowboys and Broncos game and what was reported along with it, you know? Did a video talking about the blackout at Super Bowl 47. Today has 47 numerology, the 33-minute blackout. How after the 47th pitch of the 111th World Series, there was a blackout with the Fox TV crew. Lightning strike, by the way, also connects to football, you know? I have to go back and watch the video I did on this, but I'll link this blog post. You can find the video. Game still delayed. I, I was thinking maybe the Packers might go for 41, 44, or 47 points tonight. You know, they're off to a healthy start there because 44 is the number. And again, it's the number for the Packers. Wisconsin and Packers, 44. Even more than that, to go a little bit further, a little bit more knowledge, show you this. Notice the overlap with Rodgers, Green Bay, in week four. This is the first game of week four, 444. The fourth astrological sign is Cancer, 444, you know. But here's what I want you to see. Green Bay Packers is 84. Remember, the divisors of 44 sum to 84. Obama was the 44th president. Obama equals 84. So does Hope, which he ran on. You know, MLK and Malcolm X assassinated on dates with 44 numerology. The over-under was at 44 and a half. Now we get the lightning strike 44. And 193rd game, one more time, 44th prime. And just look. Look at Lightning in Wisconsin. The game's in Wisconsin. I mean, Midwest gets Lightning. I know. You know, I got family out in North Dakota, a little bit more west of you, but the Lightning out there, Montana to the rest of the Midwest, I know about it. But still, how many primetime games? And how many more are we going to see this season? This season's all about the weather. You know, it's in Super Bowl 52, Prince. Prince Purple Rain, again, in Super Bowl 41 halftime show, the only halftime show that ever had rain, you know? And again, Prince Dad, last year on the 112th day of the year, last year was a late year. He died on April 21st, 112th day of the year, you see? Notice Super Bowl 49. NFL 49, America 49. Remember how the 49ers hosted the golden anniversary? Gold equals 38. 49ers named after the gold rush. The game was on February 7th, the 38th day of the year. The 38th state won Colorado. Colorado also equals 38. Every year it's like this. Every single year, you know. When lightning strikes... Until next time, true seeker. Encore. I overlooked that for the delay, the ball is stuck at the 47-yard line. And as I covered, today has the 47 life lesson number. The Packers in the first NFL Super Bowl, which was the 47th season of the league. There are 47 degrees on the Freemason compass above the Big G. The Big G Packers are at home. Until next time.